All right, guys, welcome to episode 33 of this Road to Glory series with Sheffield Wednesday. The last episode, we'll have a quick look at the calendar to remind us it was a two game episode, weren't it? We started proceedings with a 1 0 home win in the FA Cup, but unfortunately, we followed that up with a 2 0 loss at home against Newcastle. As I said back then in that episode, slightly unfair given state of play in that game, but it's goals that count in end, isn't it? So we lost, time to move on. Next, we've got to play my, well, one of my bogey teams in Everton, and we'll round out today's episode plus the transfer deadline day window closing against Wolves at home. We have done a little something with the transfer up, just put some players on that my scouts actually picked up. Uh, Mawson and Cessna Young were already there. Dodo 74, well, Dodo. Do do. I don't know what that accent is over and out, but we shall uh, disregard that and just call him Dodo regardless because that's easier than actually looking it up. He's 74 rated overall. Right back, Victoria Guimarães. I would assume that's pronounced. Sounds like it should be in Brazil, and he is Brazilian. It makes sense. Look at that acceleration and sprint speed. That is scary. And I saw them and I thought his defensive work would probably be pants but it's not his uh, stand tackle 73 and slide tackle 69 that's not too bad for somebody that just looks like they're all speed I'm not sure what his crossing is he's crossing 72 whether or not they'd actually be interested in loaning him to us I have no idea I'm guessing not but we can try no all right well I don't think we've got enough cash to try and tempt him but he is on the transfer hub anyway. We'll see what happens with that. We've also added Per Schurz. I would assume that's pronounced. A 20-year-old centre-back at Ajax. Six foot four. That's going to add some more height to our team in a team that's already loaded with players at six foot four. We'll see how... Uh, what the scout report says when that comes back over what rating he is. If he's low rated, then obviously we won't be interested. But... At that height, that could be what we need to, at least in terms of maybe a loan, if he's too expensive to buy. I'm not even sure if he's first team at Ajax or not, but we'll have a look at him when Scout Report comes back. Same with this guy, Diogo Lita. He uh, he's don't look amazing, only six foot two. But then again, Toby Alderweireld's only six foot two, isn't he? But if you look at his summary or his defensive stats, 76 to 86. Uh, his technical abilities might be quite decent as well. The uh, interception is not great. Slide tackle and stand tackle both are going to be reasonably good though. And he is at Porto. It just remains to be seen what his actual ratings look like when the scout report comes back. And a lot of them reports are going to be probably coming back just before the window as well. So it's not like we're going to be jumping straight in with any of these players. We'll wait to see what the reports look like before we make any final decisions. For now, let's just crack on and make his way towards that next game. We are currently sat in 11th in the league. One point behind both Chelsea and Newcastle. Two points behind Manchester City. So that's not too bad going, is it? Let's have a quick look at the standings. See how they look. So we're in 11th. Chelsea in 10th, one point in front. Newcastle also a point in front in 9th. City in 8th, two points in front. Leicester three points, Spurs four points, Palace and Everton five points, United seven points, Arsenal also seven points, and Wolves eight points in front. And we have to play them just before transfer window shuts. Oh boy. Still, not a massive gap, is it? 27 to 35. That's all that separates 11th from first. Right, I've waffled enough. Let's advance the calendar towards that first game against Everton. We have had a transfer offer for Tom Lees. I don't really want to lose him because he is the only other sort of senior level centre back. I think for that sort of money, 2.3 mil, it's just not worth it. I'd rather keep him around unhappy and then play him if we need to. And here we go then, it is game day. Game number one or two for this episode. We are heading to Goodison. We are in Liverpool for this game against Everton. Hopefully, we can turn things around from that Newcastle game and grab three points this time. Pickford starts in goal for Everton then. It is a back four of Bellerin, Rakik, Mina and Galloway. 
Schneiderlin and Gay are the two in the middle at park with Walcott, Sigurdsson and Richarlison in behind Mina up front, Santi Mina. Restart with Fructal in goal. It's a back five of Wagnerman, Romagna, Ampadu, Foyf and Pellegrini. Midfield two of Tenali and Reach. And they're in behind Madison, who sits just behind Haaland. And, well, that would have been Haaland and Jovic, but it decided to just skip it on its own. Walcott somehow won that. And Schneiderlin is back to address a gay. And was that a shot or a pass? Either way, that were awful from Schneiderlin. Madison back to Reach. Back to Madison again. And here's Wagnerman. Why was Wagnerman in a striker's position then? Fawcett puts Galloway under pressure and Fawcett's ball out, but no excuse for him being that far up the pitch. It's Madison on to reach. Tenali. There's Madison again. Looks for crossing middle. Picks up a deflection. And Madison went for a shot at second time, I'm asking. It's Wagnerman. Middle to Madison. Reach. Oh, shot picks up a deflection. Back onto Madison, who made the right run this time. And ball cut out by Yeri Mina. And here's Jovic in on goal. He's going to go for a shot. And that's straight across Pickford into back at net. Let's go up, celebrate in front of, well, in front of Everton fans looking at them feet in background. <laughs> there was some nice movement in build up to that all round. Nice little dinked through ball passes. And just go straight across Pickford like that. That's why he signed for Real Madrid in real life. Did Pickford get a touch to it? He didn't. Right, corner. Let's address again onto Sigurdsson. And well done again, Ampadu. And it's Reach making a nice run. It's found Wagnerman. It's at centre, and that's just wide by Haaland. And it's Adam Reach. Acres of space opening up here for Pellegrini. And Haaland creates a bit of space for him, saying he's put it over. No, it's a corner. It's took a deflection. Did it hit Yeri Mina's foot? It did. It cannoned off Yeri Mina's foot. Walcott. Romagna heads that away. Nobody for it to fall to. There's Schneiderlin. And Purdue sticks a foot in. There's a Drissa Gay. Romagna again. And Madison, nice little faked pass then. And there is the referee's whistle at half time. It is Everton nil, Sheffield Wednesday one. Well done, lad. Tenali knocked on for Madison. Jovic got his shot off, and Pickford saves it. Turns it round post. It'll be a corner, and put it right in front of goalkeeper and. Oh, it does fall to us, but it's been spooned wide by Foyf. It's that kind of situation you want it to fall to your striker, don't you? Not fall to a central defender who's not known for his shooting prowess. There's Schneiderlin forward to Sigurdsson. To Ricarlison. That's fruit middle. Head that away, we do. Oh, Sigurdsson puts it over. We were lucky then. That could have easily been on target and it would have gone it back at net. It would have been the softest goal that I've seen in a while. It's Rusal Ricarlison with pullback. Finds Sigurdsson. Well done, Madison. And here's Reach. Fruit middle to Jovic. There's Madison. Spots Wagnerman in an acre of space. Got anybody far post we have, but it's a poor shot into ground just in front of Pickford. A little bit fortunate there with deflections. Here's Madison coming forward again. It's reach. And that is Madison. And no, we've put it wide. I'll try not to be selfish. Madison could have buried that. I tried cutting it across goal and he went to uh, Haaland instead of. Jovic, it's not a throw, it's a foul, so I'm going to take that opportunity either way to take Pellegrini off and bring Matt Penny on. Pellegrini just a little bit tired, That's fresh legs, having to ward against Bernard and Bellerin. 
Oh, space open up for Schneiderlin, but it's straight at Fructal. We've got 80 minutes on clock. We've been playing well. Let's see if we can just keep odd at ball here and pass into a bit of space. Haaland on for Jovic. Tonali, ball cut out by Schneiderlin and everybody's upfield. So if Everton hit, we're a speedy counter here, but they're not going to. They're holding ball up. Madison, nice little turn. Oh, why did Haaland try and find Wagnerman then when I were trying to cut a little through pass through to uh, Jovic? We're making a nice little break and we've done just enough there, I think. And there's Madison through up middle for Reach. Looking to go up at top for Jovic. And Rekic just gets a foot to that to bring it down. But it don't matter. That is the final whistle. We have stolen the three points from Everton at Goodison Park. Everton nil, Wednesday one. Well, that was kind of a uh, surprise, weren't it? Grabbing three points against Everton. It looks like the next round of the FA Cup's been drawn as well, so we are not going to have transfer deadline day in this uh, episode looking at that. Yep, second game for today's episode will be away at Charlton. So that Wolves game will have to wait, and the transfer window will have to wait as well. Happy with the performance in that game, though. We've had a transfer offer from Burnley for Mikola Shaparenko. That is not happening whatsoever. Bugger off. Well, that is a sight for sore eyes, that bit of news. Robert Gumney has returned from injury. He's probably not going to get game time in this game coming up because he'll need to come back slowly. But Roman uh, Wagnerman will finally be able to get a break. Be able to rest from get an uh, occasional game. Hopefully, he's back firing fit pretty quick now he's returned from his injury. It is time for game two or two in this episode, then. It is FA Cup fourth round, I think. And we are up against Charlton away. Hopefully, we can get past these like we did uh, Brentford and make it through to the next round. Funny how you think how the mighty have fallen with Charlton. Remember when they were a Premier League team? Was it Scott Parker that came from Charlton originally? I want to say it were. Now they're down in what? Championship? League One? I think it was League One last time I saw. We make one or two changes to our starting lineup. Penny comes in and Shaparenko come in. Other than that, I think we are unchanged. Yep, unchanged other than Shaparenko coming in for Reach and Penny coming in for Pellegrini. All right. FA Cup. It'd be nice to win a cup, wouldn't it? I don't think we will, but it would be nice. <laughs> oh, well. Well done, Shaparenko. Well won. Jovic. There's Shaparenko. On to Haaland. Kept order it. And Shaparenko, back of the net, straight away. He were complaining that he weren't getting his uh, role that were offered at the club. And that is how he replies when I put him in team. Can't complain at that. Or a goal. Easily cut out then by Tenali. There is Shaparenko again from Madison. Fires it forward for Matt Penny. Acres of space. Can he get a cross in? He can. And wow, what a save by keeper. Ooh, that was dangerous defending though. Straight back across their own goal. Out to Penny for Madison. Turns it back into Jovic. He's got all the space and he puts it over at bar. <laughs> all the space in the world and he blasts it over. I'm just taking chances with this because it's just this team, this Charlton team, just seem so flimsy. That's just trying to shut me up now, are not they? After I said that this team feels a bit flimsy, they are actually putting uh, effort in now. And they are in behind again. And it's wired again by the same player, Veta Kelly. Played forward and Grant runs his man off the ball. Madison picks that up. Foyf continues with it. That is to Haaland. Through middle to Shaparenko. Knocked on for Madison. Forward for Pennett. 
Acre and space again. Can we find a pass? No, it's behind everybody. And Aribo lumps it upfield. And it also falls to Veta Kelly. And here's Grant getting in behind. Defensive line. And is that going to go out for a goal kick? And it's gone out for a corner. I'm sure that came off at attacker. Oh, well. Headed away by Harland. All six foot four are him. Convinced that this Charlton team have heard me slating them because now they're playing like Manchester United, not Charlton Athletic. There's Madison. He's got in box. He's going to go for a shot and straight across keeper, but by the post. It weren't a bad bit of movement, but it was just a little bit too wide. Madison not scored since we signed him. Not overly concerned, although Reach did bag quite a few goals from that camp position. So he has got big boots to fill in scoring department. And that is half time. At the break, it is Charlton nil, Wednesday 1. Veta Kelly onto Grant. Ampadu went in. Falls to Grant again. And it is Foyf giving away a foul. It looks like he's going to get booked as well. Alright, what can Charlton do with this free kick? They can blast it straight at the wall. It falls to Pierce. And then that's going to go out. Is it going to go out for a throw? No, it just about goes out for a goal kick. And we are going to make some changes then. Shaparenko coming off for Adam Reach. And Pellegrini comes on for Matt Penny. Madison. Vagnerman. Awful pass. Cut out before it makes it through to Tenali. And easy save for Fructal. Although why my defenders sat off quite as much as they did then. I'll never know. Here's Tenali. Knocked on for Vagnerman. Forward for Madison. Harland looking for Jovic in space. Finds him, but he's got men all around him. Somehow won that back. Did that come off for our player as well? No, it didn't. It's fine. It did come off the defender. Ball lumped in box. Headed by Harland and into back at net. What a header. I very nearly took Harland off the pitch as well. I am glad I didn't now. That's six foot four. Is he, is he Norwegian? Either way, six foot four, leaping header from very near the penalty spot, and it finds its way into the back of the net. Just awkward bounce for keeper to deal with, I suppose. Either way, doubled our lead. It is now 2 0. Probably unfairly. We don't really deserve it, but I'll take it. Madison's knackered. I think that's why he's making so many mistakes. Should probably have took him off at pitch, be not. Oh, that's going to be offside for Jovic, I think. Yep. And that is going to be Madison's last action at game. We are bringing Kangin Leon in his place. He's playing Cam. Foyf forward to Pellegrini. Inside to reach. Back to Pellegrini. Jovic on to Pellegrini again. The left back. Coming all the way through to... Oh, wow. Haaland. What were that? Please, no. It's not going to show me a replay. That were awful. It just swung at nothing. That was just the perfect run from Pellegrini as well, weren't it? Here is Kangin Lee. And he's get it away. He meant to be helping us increase his lead, mate. Not try and help opposition grab a goal back in death. Well done, Reach. Jovic on to Kangin Lee. To Reach. Reach gives it away to Saar. Forward to Taylor. And there we go. There is the referee's whistle. He brings the game to a close. Our second victory of this episode. And through to the next round of the FA Cup. Charlton nil, Wednesday 2. Well, that makes a nice change to end an episode on a high. Two wins at two in that one. One in the league, which has took us up to ninth place. We have leapfrogged Liverpool and Newcastle. And we are joint on points with City. And then through to the next round of the FA Cup by beating Charlton. Much better episode this time than last, weren't it? We still don't think we've got any scout reports back. No, it's about press conference and Penny is glad that I played him. So, still no scout reports to look at about the players that we have got on the transfer hub, which is slightly worrying because there's only a few days left before the window closes, but hopefully some of them will come in 
and we can have a look at the options that we've got available to us. For now though, we are going to leave that one there guys. If you enjoyed this episode, then make sure you twat that thumbs up button, twat that subscribe button to keep up with content on channel, social media links, you know what's going by now, they're in the description below. Feel free to follow me on whatever social media you use. And other than that guys, cheers for watching and as usual, I'll see you next episode.